What's up ninjas? It's Fuzzy, back at it again with another video, and this one is the first cooking lesson for FOTV, baby. We are going to make some of the world's most epic fish tacos, and that's because Fuzzy taught you how to make them. So, stay tuned guys. Let's get some good fish tacos. ninjas this is the easiest step to your video we're gonna make the batter for our fish and that's real easy we got a bowl we got one cup of any beer batter that you want you can use any name brand fuzzy just buys a generic beer batter fuzzy does this a little bit more difficult that's one of fuzzy's homebrew beers three quarters of a cup we're gonna add them And then we're gonna whisk it until smooth. All right, so now what I did, that three quarters of a cup wasn't good enough for me of the beer. I like mine to be just a hair on the runny side, okay? And that just makes it a little lighter. And it lets the fish be the star of the dish. Here's the trick. I add a little bit of Cajun seasoning or a blackened seasoning to my batter. Not enough to take away. But just enough, and I hate it when people say this, season to taste. Now it's time <laughs> to bring a little canola oil up to 350 degrees. While you're getting ready, let your fish soak in either salt water or buttermilk. This removes some of the undesired flavors. Okay, so we're going to take our awesome sand bass, and this one right here is a crappie filet, and we're just going to dredge them in our beer batter. And you can use a blackened seasoning and grill these. You could use a regular uh, corn batter. You can do whatever you want. This is just how I like to cook my fish. And now we're gonna gently put it into our awesome oil. guys so we're gonna take one green cabbage one red cabbage one two carrots and one green onion you can substitute red onion if you want we're going to grate the cabbage the carrots and we're gonna finally slice the onion then we're gonna put them in our bowl to speed up time wow that was quick TV magic is cool Okay, so to this, we're going to add the juice of one lemon. Teach you a trick with the lemon. Before you cut it, roll it. Roll it. And press on it. And break up all those juices. Now when you cut that lemon, it will juice awesome. And of course... I normally use one hand to strain the lemon as I put it in. Or you can use a strainer. If you don't, you're gonna end up picking out lemon seeds. Now we're gonna add one quarter cup of mustard. Now we're adding about a cup of mayonnaise. All right, now about a teaspoon of celery salt. Now we got a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now your last two ingredients for your Cajun coleslaw are going to be to taste. I know, I hate it too. I put a little bit of blackened seasoning in mine. And then a couple dashes of cayenne pepper. Haha, <laughs> couple dashes, right? Now all you need to do is toss it together. And there's your finished product. Kind of got a red hue to it. You bite in, you get the mayonnaise, you get the vinegar right off the bat. Chew for a little bit and mmm, the heat kind of just gently sets in at the end. Super, super tasty coleslaw. All right, for our final topping for our tacos, we're gonna just 
Please we chop up some cilantro. All right, that'll work good. Then we're gonna snag a tomato. Just cut it. I'm not worried about anything cilantro getting on the tomato or anything. Because we're all about to put these together. Okay. And I cut my tomato up and just dice it. Could be using a better knife. This is what I have clean right now. And we'll need the juice of one lime, which I've already rolled. That knife needs to go hang out with our work sharp sharpener. Now what we need to do is take our avocados, cut them in half. Yummy. And I just dice them inside the skin. Go vertically and go horizontally. And this will be two avocados that we do. All right. Now, let's add our ingredients. Yummy avocados. Yum. All right. Add both of our limes. Well, it's one lime. Yes, juice, juice, juice. Yes. My bad, wasn't paying attention to lighting. Well, this is about good food, not good lighting. And here we go. Add the rest of the ingredients, the cilantro, and the tomatoes. Now the trick with this, is not to make a guacamole. You're going to mix it. Let's see if I can get behind the camera here and keep good light. There you go. I'm gonna mix it. But we're not gonna mix it like a full guacamole. We're just making a relish. Little secret. That's exactly how you make my guacamole. Minus the fact that I would add a jalapeno to that with guacamole. Now all that's left is to assemble our tacos. All right guys, there's your final product. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish tacos. I put a little jalapeno on them. Of course you got your coleslaw and you got your fish. There's no better way to eat this fish, I promise you guys. I'm sorry if any of the video quality is not up to par, but I did the best we can trying to film all this by myself. It's kind of something that requires two hands and a camera. <laughs> all right, so this is the part where I get my fish taco that I made and I think is awesome, and I take a bite of it and go, mmm, mm, 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 this is so awesome. You should make it. Right? Isn't that how you do these things? Let's do it. Let's take a bite. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm. That was a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. You should make these fish tacos at home. They're freaking good. Mmm. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm done for the night. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was all right for you guys. I'll work on making a little bit better fishing videos, or not fishing, cooking videos for you guys. Uh, just as soon as I can, I'll work on camera angles and stuff. This is really my first uh, 
go at it. I don't think that the importance in this video is the quality of this video as it is the quality of that recipe. It is really good. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you really like the video, go down below and subscribe to this channel so you can see more. And if you really, really like the video, share it to your friends so that they can see too. Guys, this is my secret recipe. So you're gonna promise me to share it to all your friends so we can make awesome fish tacos together, all right? <laughs> Guys, appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Oh,